Hi, Mike Staskowitz. Glad you could take a moment to watch this presentation on Will Soapflakes Work For Me. Um, I hope to have the answers for you. I've been taking telephone calls for about seven years and answering emails, and I know the kind of things people ask and have some answers. If for some reason I am not answering your question, please call this number. Uh, just remember we're on the Eastern Time Zone and are only available during regular business hours. You can leave a message 24 hours a day and we'll return your call as quick as we can. Or you can send us an email at that address on the uh, screen right now. So will soap flakes work for you? Well, almost certainly yes. Uh, in speaking with people over the years, they already have an idea of uh, why they want to use soap flakes. They have a recipe, they have a project, they have a craft idea, but they're not certain that, that these soap flakes are like real soap flakes or, you know, are they really soap? I mean, they have questions like that. So let's cover some of those. The soap base is a high quality 100% vegetable base. Uh, this uh, provides a gentler soap uh, in the old days and even today, a lot of soaps are made with tallow, which are animal parts and fats that are rendered down to become the soap base. Uh, that is a less expensive base, and in fact, the vegetable base that we use it costs about twice as much as raw material than tallow does. So Dry Pack, the manufacturer, has really gone the extra mile to provide a very good soap base. The soap flakes themselves are made on machines that are over 100 years old. So these are real true soap flakes, the kind your grandmother or great grandmother purchased. They're not copies, they're not interpretations, they're the real soap flakes. The machines, at least some of them that Dry Pack uses, were purchased from Unilever, and Unilever was founded by the Lever Brothers, who if you happen to know the history of soap flakes, invented soap flakes in 1990, 1899, make that. Um, if you've ever heard of Lux Flakes, that was another Unilever product uh, sold for over 100 years. Uh, Dry Pack was a contract manufacturer of Lux Flakes for decades. And uh, in the early 2000s, uh, Unilever restructured and quit the brand, but Dry Pack had been making the Lux Flakes for years, as were they making the Dry Pack brand flakes we offer today, and a few other private label brands of soap flakes. So my point is that these are real soap flakes, and Dry Pack knows how to make them. <laughs> um, sometimes people ask us, well, are they like ivory soap flakes? And, uh, or sometimes they say, are they like Lux Flakes? And the answer is, well, not exactly. Uh, we touched on this, but those older uh, soap flakes had a tallow base versus uh, our current vegetable base. The older flakes had perfume in them versus today, we in the dry pack flakes, have no perfume. Uh, there are no additives uh, in the dry pack soap flakes, and there probably weren't many in the older ones I don't know for sure but uh, certainly not in the dry pack soap flakes there are no enzymes phosphates bleaches optical whiteners anything like that it's just pure soap so how much do you need to use uh, well for general cleaning which is like washing a floor or a wall maybe uh, washing a car or a pet a uh, dog or something like that I uh, use about a half a cup of soap flakes to a bucket of warm or hot water in uh, washing machines, these are the standard old uh, top loading, you know, with the lid on the top. You use about a half a cup of soap flakes per load. Although really, it's rare that anyone uses pure soap flakes in their laundry. I mean, they may occasionally, but most of the time people will use a mix. It might be like half soap flakes and half washing soda, or one-third soap flakes, one-third washing soda, one-third borax. Sometimes they'll substitute soda crystals for the washing soda. Um, but at any rate, y y the odds are you'll actually use less than this amount, but that's the, the starting amount, and if you were to use only soap flakes, it would be about that, that amount that you'd use. In modern, high-efficiency, front-loading washing machines, you'd only use two tablespoons uh, per load. 
and you wouldn't ever want to really go beyond that by much uh, uh, because there could possibly be sudsing. I mean, the, these uh, flakes do create a suds, and you wouldn't want too much of that. Um, again, in these machines, there likely would be a mix, and, you know, in, in doing that, you would actually be using less than two tablespoons of soap flakes per load, but you might be using two tablespoons of the mix per load. There's uh, about four and a half cups of soap flakes per pound. It's, it's just short of four and a half cups. That's about 71 tablespoons. So if you have a recipe or a project and you know uh, how much you need per child or per uh, whatever you're making per unit, um, this is how you would determine how much you would need to buy, how much soap flakes. And we can help with that if you, um, you know, uh, want to, get a second opinion on uh, on your uh, deciding how much you need to buy. Uh, where can you buy some? Well, hopefully from us at msodistributing.com, but also you can go to soap-flakes.com. There's a list there of other resellers of exactly the same product. Um, well, thank you for listening. I hope you uh, have gotten some of these questions answered. If you didn't, again, please call me toll-free at this number or send an email and I'll be happy to answer your questions or to take your order. Thanks again for watching. See you soon. Bye.